Um, so we'll start with your overall energy. The overall energy is the two of swords in reverse, okay? So I feel that there was someone here who was probably stuck between two people or stuck between making a decision, okay? This could be someone who could have been in their head for a very long time, all right? This could be someone who was blocking their heart chakra, blocking their emotions, you know, and not really letting someone in, okay? Finally, this person with the two of swords in reverse, I feel someone sees things very, very clearly and sees them for what they are, okay? They're no more confused and someone's being very decisive. In the past, the Ace of Cups in reverse here, I feel there was a situation where you once saw a lot of potential in a relationship, but something went wrong and there was a big, huge disappointment around that situation. In the current situation with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel that there's someone here who was wanting to be single or who was single, independent, on their own, and now this person is very codependent on you and they're ready to be in a relationship with you. On their mind, they're wanting to come back towards you, okay? The Seven of Swords in reverse. It is a very deceptive energy. Yes, it is uh, It is someone who's deceptive, someone who's sneaky, all right? But I don't see this as someone who has a third party. This could be someone, again, with the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm seeing this as someone who was withholding a lot of information or withholding their feelings. Someone who's not ready to express their feelings and try to run away from their feelings. What I'm getting here is that this person is finally returning back. They know they want to have a very honest approach towards you. They no longer want to be deceptive and they want to come in and they want to open up to you. How they view you? They view you as someone who's just being non-communicative, all right? With the King of Swords in reverse here, they view you as someone non-communicative, someone who's just not talking to them or someone who's cut them off, all right? It's almost like I'm getting like you've had it with this person. You could have given this person a lot of time to open up, but this person refused to open up. You know, probably the person that you're dealing with, this could be someone who has, um, they, they have a habit of, you know, sabotaging the connection, okay? Because they don't open up. They don't like to be vulnerable. They don't like to express themselves emotionally. So yeah, this could be someone like that, but finally they're realizing that they want to be in a relationship with you, all right? But they view you as someone who's being very non-communicating, very cold and very harsh, all right? Very detached. In their emotions, with the four of swords in reverse here, I think this person is ready to talk because they're being very restless about the situation. And I think that this person has ghosted you or this person has taken their own time to stay away from you, right? I think this person is ready to talk, come out of isolation and ready to talk to you finally. But the problem here is how they want to move forward with you with the Knight of Swords in reverse here. This is someone who's holding back an opportunity, okay? This person wants to talk to you. They want to say a lot to you, but they're in no rush. Or this is just someone who's very afraid. This person could be someone who usually has a uh, habit of lashing out, okay? Like when they come at right, they'll come in hot and there'll be some arguments, some conflicts between you guys. They'll say what they have to and they'll leave, right? But I think this person is being very sensible and taking a very sensible approach right now because they could have been acting without thinking earlier, okay? But this time they're holding back. They're holding back. They're not moving things forward as fast as they want to. The realization is there. The realization is there. They're very clear about what they want, all right? Because it's driving them nuts. They're reaching a boiling point, okay? They're reaching a point of exhaustion with the four of swords in reverse, you know, all right? It's like they want to talk now if they could. But I think because of the way they view you as someone very cold and detached, right? That's what what's probably stopping them. But behind, behind the scenes with the three of pentacles, yeah, this person wants to build with you, okay? They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. They want commitment. They want to put in the effort and consistency that they didn't put in the past, okay? They're ready to do all that right now. Your advice right now is the seven of cups in reverse, okay? So Scorpio, if you're confused about anything, right? Be clear about what you want. It's time to choose the cup that you want, all right? Don't be confused anymore. Like in one of the Oracle cards uh, I had read, it said, be clear about what you want, know what you want so it can come to you right now or it can come to you as soon as possible. I think Scorpio, you're very confused. Now that you've, you know, I think now that there's been a split between you guys, there could have been some time that ran out between you guys and now that there's been a split, right? This person has a realization of coming back to you. Now you're the one who's very confused. You don't know what you want. I mean, now that there's been a break, maybe you realize that this is not what you wanted. Maybe you were manifesting this for a very long time. But I mean, it's almost like probably Scorpio, I'm feeling. Now you're the one who's confused. You're very overwhelmed with the situation. But yeah, you need to be clear, okay? Have a reality check once this person comes in. Know what you want. Be clear about it, okay? And that's when it's going to come in. But yeah, narrow down your options. And again, get a reality check. Think practically. Don't be in your fantasy world anymore. That's your advice. But the helmet in reverse is the likely outcome again. I'm getting someone who ghosted you, right? They're ready to come back. Someone's ready to come back. See, we have the Knight of Cups here. They're ready to come back, offer you, give you a love offer, apology, express themselves emotionally, want to be vulnerable to you, or whatever, right? But they're coming back. 
they have a realization and they're ready to come back. Why is the two of swords in reverse? Clap for the two of swords in reverse. King of cups. And the ace of swords. Wow, there's clarity coming in, dude. This person is ready to clear the air and they're ready to tell you how much they love you because there is a lot of love in your Scorpio. Like I said before, you're just dealing with someone who's just not the best person in expressing their love, expressing their emotions, okay? But yeah, you're getting communication and this is going to be some harsh truth, okay? And I think this is a truth that they want to reveal to you that they love you very much and they now realize that they shouldn't have run away from their feelings or they shouldn't have sab sabotaged this connection. That's the kind of revelation that's coming in. You're getting cutthroat communication, the truth, victory, Okay, why is the nine of pentacles in reverse in the current situation? Back with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Two of wands. Give me one more card for the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Someone's finally wanting a reconciliation, but the two of wands are the judgment here, okay? This person has had that time to think about this and they're finally making a decision and they want, they're coming towards you with a reconciliation and the reconciliation is that they want a second chance with you and they want to be in a relationship with you. They're ready to be in a relationship and a commitment with you, okay? They, they're very codependent on you. They need you. They want you. What is the seven of swords in reverse? What are the seven of swords in reverse, please? This person is super codependent on you. We can't have, I mean, I can't make this shit up, right? We have the Nine of Pentacles twice. This person is returning back to you. They want to be honest to you. They want to be very honest, open up. Again, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They want to be with you, okay? This person is very, being very clingy and needy, all right? Now that you've let them go. Because I see you cut them off. You're being very cold and detached. Why is the King of Swords in reverse here? You could have put things on hold for a very long time, okay? Or you could have put this person on hold, but you walked away or you cut this person off because with the five of cups here, it was just a very disappointing situation, okay, with this person. Again, crying a lot over spilt milk or crying over the past, investing your energy into something that is already gone and done with, all right? Why is the four of souls in reverse here? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here and the Four of Swords in reverse, I feel that this person is very restless about whatever happened in the past. They don't know how to approach you. And with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel this person is doubting themselves if they can make things happen with you. Four of Swords, again, a lot of time out, a lot of energy of thinking, thinking, thinking. Very meditative energy, but a lot of period of inaction, all right, is what I'm getting. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? That's why they're not rushing in because they don't know if you're going to accept them or not, if you're going to give them the second chance. What is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Four of Pentacles. They're holding back. They're in a state of shutdown. They're very afraid, I'm getting. I'm getting someone who's very scared. They want to talk to you. They want this new beginning with you, but the only delay is because of the Four of Pentacles. Someone's not ready to open up or very, very... Um, Make someone very afraid to open up, okay? You could be dealing with someone, you know, who's never been okay with letting their heart chakra out or someone who's been okay with being vulnerable, okay? That's the one of, the, that's the biggest reasons why there is a lot of issues here. But the Ten of Swords here, again, you could be dealing with someone who's probably gone through a lot of backstabbing and betrayal in the past, in their past relationships, or this could also be you with the Ten of Swords here, okay? Who's feeling backstabbed and betrayed and that's why you're shut down. But I'm getting with the Ten of Swords here. This person probably thinks things have ended between you guys, okay? And they don't know how they can make an approach towards you, okay? But yeah, someone definitely feels backstabbed and betrayed. And they're very shut down. It could also mean that this person is coming back towards you. But things are not getting off ground because you're the one who's shut down, Scorpio. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? They're not rushing in. Five of Pentacles. This person is feeling very left out by you. They're ready to let their guards down. They're ready to let you in. Okay? They're ready to forgive and learn whatever happened in the past. Let bygones be bygones. They're ready to let their guards down, wanting to be vulnerable, all right? But again, they feel a lack mindset. I'm getting someone who feels a lack. Someone who feels they don't have everything that they need to make things happen with you. 
this person's holding back because they don't know if they're worth you, Scorpio. They don't. They, they feel. They feel they're not worth. They're not worth this relationship, or they just feel they're not good enough for you. Aww. Why is the three of pentacles here? Why is the three of pentacles here? Can I have the three of pentacles? The ten of swords and the three of pentacles. This is one of another reasons, okay? I think this person feels like they've hurt you or this person is being in a very victim mentality with the Ten of Swords here. This person is overkill. They want to work with you. I thought this person is very, very busy work, focusing and working on themselves, focusing on their goals, careers, okay? There could be a third party situation, doesn't have to be. But again, with the Ten of Swords here, I'm getting that this person has a lot on their mind, okay? This person is going through a lot, they have a lot on their plate, okay? And this person is just not being able to come together with you on the same page. Yeah. With the Four of Cups and Reverse here, yeah, I think this person could also see you as someone who's a missed opportunity, okay? And they're like, well, it is what is it, what it is, right? I want to work with Scorpio, I want to make things happen with them. But with the Ten of Swords, yeah, again, they, I think this person is feeling very hurt. Something's cut through them very, very deep, okay? This is not the Three of Swords. This is the Ten of Swords. Someone's playing a victim here. They're very hurt with whatever happened. Again, they feel very backstabbed and betrayed by you. Could be. What is the Seven of Cups in Reverse? Focus on your work and career with the Seven of Cups in Reverse here and the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? I think... If you have any confusion about something, right, you should be very clear about what you want. Get a reality check and your reality check should be that you need to focus on your work, yourself, your career, your goals, all right? That's what you need to do, Scorpio. Don't focus so much on what is going on behind the scenes or what's going on with the other person, right? Focus on yourself, focus on, on building on yourself, all right? And that's when things will happen. Don't be very stressed and don't be very overwhelmed with the situation right now. What is the hermit in reverse? Give me one card. Why is the hermit in reverse? All right. With the hermit in reverse and the eight of cups here, right? I feel someone, this could also be someone who's wanted, who's realized something, okay? This person is probably, with the hermit in reverse, it could also be someone, you know, who's feeling it, finding it very difficult to go within themselves and find a solution, okay? This person is, is probably trying to distract themselves with external factors and I think they're finally wanting to walk away. Someone's walking away with the Eight of Cups. Back to the Eight of Cups. Back to the Eight of Cups. Okay. You know what? I have the helmet here so many times, right? With the Eight of Cups, the staff are by the tower in reverse. So I think someone's just walking away because they want to avoid a disaster. They want to avoid something from completely crashing. But with the Hermit in reverse, again, I'm getting someone, this could be someone who's too isolated also, okay? The Hermit is a good energy, guys. But when you don't know when to pull your back, pull yourself out, this could be someone who doesn't know how to pull themselves out okay, at the right time. And when you keep slipping into it over and over and over again, you tend to get into isolation and overthinking. And when you're doing overthinking and, and, in, and in isolation and not fucking talk, you tend to get into depression, okay, which leads to inaction. And that's exactly what's happening with this person here. Could be you, Scorpio, could be the person you're dealing with. Someone's overthinking the situation a lot. They're not even wanting to open up. They're stressing too much about whether you're going to take them back or not. Because on their mind, they want this reconciliation. They need to make a decision, you know. They want everything with you. They realize that whatever they did, they, they realize they've self-sabotaged this connection. I think they're feeling very guilty about it. They want to be with you, right? But they're just not confident. I feel this person is feeling that they're not good enough for you. That's one of their biggest blockages too. Self-doubt. And your advice is to focus on yourself, all right? Think practically. Like, don't be stuck on this energy, all right? Don't be stuck on this energy. Okay. 
Hermit in reverse, Eight of Cups, and the Tower in reverse. Okay? It clearly tells me that there's someone here who's too isolated, and because they're so isolated, they can't make up their mind, and that's why someone's walking away okay, to avoid a disaster. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Communication is coming in. This person still loves you a lot, right? But that communication, it, it has to come in. That's what I'm saying. It is coming in with Ace of Swords here, okay? There is clarity out here. But this person is just in no rush. And that's one of the reasons why you could walk away because this person is taking their own time. And it's only their problem. It's them, Scorpio. It's not you is what I'm saying. It's them. It's them who's taking their time. And you're walking away because you just think it's going to be crazy waiting for them, okay? And you feel it's going to be a disaster. Things are just going to be completely haywire if you keep waiting for this person, okay? Because it's overwhelming you, right? So someone's too isolated. It's not that they don't want this with you. They want everything with you, but they're just not being able to gather that courage to come towards you and tell you that they want this with you. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this meeting resonates with you. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.